based world. So there are four basic things in survive in a survival situation. Shelter, water, fire, food. In that exact order. There's a thing called the rule of three. The rule of three is three hours without shelter. Shelter can be anything from clothing to weapons and an entire like house or something. Then after that, it's three days without water. You're gonna die of dehydration if you don't get enough water. And then after that, it's three weeks without food. So food is going to be your last priority. Although it is essential because you will eventually starve without food and end up dying. And that's the least glorified way to die in a zombie apocalypse is dying from starvation when you're surrounded by zombies. I mean, there's better ways to die. You want to start preparing for food early, especially if you know that you're going to be on your own. But it's not going to be the first thing that you want to start thinking of. These other things are going to be uh, the things that you want to start thinking of. So when you find yourself in any disaster situation, the first couple of things that you're going to want to look for is shelter. You're going to last three hours without. That can be, again, weapons or clothing or any kind of defense. Then you're gonna have to need, then you're gonna need water. Water can be used to one, cool you down, and two, keep you going from, you know, dying from dehydration. And then after that, you've got, so it's shelter, water, fire. Then you've got fire. Fire is gonna be used, it kind of goes with shelter, but it's harder to get than shelter, and so, it's used to purify water and such, that's why it's right after water. And then lastly, just like in the rule of three, there's food, which again, you gonna you're gonna need food, but you're not exact it's not exactly gonna be your first priority. There's other things that you're gonna need. So for shelter, I already talked about it, that can be weapons defense or clothing or anything to keep you warm because you'll in any sort of like of these disaster situations you're going to end up dying in three hours if you're running around butt naked without any sort of weapon or something like that that works in even an earthquake situation you want to take cover or like you know have some kind of shelter against falling stuff and the ground cracking open below you same thing with zombie apocalypses, you know, you're gonna run around butt naked and you're not even got any kind of shelter, you're gonna die in three hours. That's the average. So then, afterwards, we've got water. You need clean water. So, purified bottles, useful, but eventually they're gonna run out. You need a more sustainable source of clean water, which can be water purifiers that you drink out of a stream. I'll be covering water in another video as well as food in another video. So tune in for that one. It's gonna be my second episode. So then after that, we have fire. Fire which goes with, oh, one sec. Sorry about that. Fire. It goes with shelter and water. Again, I'm going to cover it in another video. I haven't exactly had it planned out yet in my special notebook of survival, but I will be doing an episode on fire. And food. Again, long-term survival stuff that we're going to be thinking about here, and I'll be covering food in another video as well. So anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe, and subscribe to join the ZSS, or the Zombie Survival Squad. When the zombie apocalypse hits, we're gonna be the ones to survive it. Anyways, thanks for watching, and bye!